Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> hey, Pisces. This is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is your mid-month tarot card reading, a.k.a. your deep thoughts for the last two weeks of June. This is a general tarot card reading for Pisces, and this reading very well may resonate with you if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart. There's a link in the box below where you can go explore your astro chart if you want to. That way you'll learn what the planetary positioning was at the time of your birth and what is in your chart. So if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. Y'all have to promise me that you will not make any judgment calls or decisions that affect the outcome of your life based on a general tarot card reading, okay? If there is any kind of confirmation, clarification, or understanding that you need from this reading, or if this reading doesn't resonate with you and you want your own genuine, unique reading just for you, say you're married and, you know, the single bullshit doesn't, doesn't resonate with you, reach out to your favorite tarot card reader. The, the peace of mind with the tarot card reading is worth its weight in gold. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click the link in the box below and get a half price reading. That's right, 50 bucks will hook it up just for you, just for your situation. Okay, Disclaimers aside, business aside. All right, let's do this, okay? Let's do this. Woo, Pisces. Now, this reading is very reminiscent of the Taurus reading. You may have Taurus somewhere in your chart, or it just might be a total freaking coincidence. I, of course, have Taurus in my chart, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know, but it's got uh, some, some, some some Taurus feel to it a little bit. So you might want to go watch that Taurus reading. And, um, you know, even if you don't have Taurus in your chart, that reading may resonate with you. You know, you don't have to have the sun sign in your chart in order to resonate with a reading. If it's your reading, it's your reading, no matter what your sign is, right? Spirit's talking to you and it's your reading. So, well, not your reading, your general reading, right? So, all right, let's get started. So you open up this reading with the justice card, right? And, and just for the record, I'm going to start here and I'm going to go across each row. So if, if I don't point, you can follow. So you start with this justice card. You want some freaking justice. You want some justice because what you thought was a 10 of cups relationship has resulted in some misalignment of values that has created a broken heart for you, Pisces. It's created a broken heart, some pain, right? Four of Cups says that you're contemplating and reevaluating, right? You're just like, what the hell? What the hell? I thought we had the Ten of Cups, man. And now, and now we have a misalignment of values and, and there's pain going on. Seven of Wands says that, that this whole situation is a huge challenge for you. Six of Wands tells me that yes, the victory success of this relationship is a challenge, but the Six of Wands also tells me that somebody has fallen out of your good graces, Pisces, obviously with the Three of Swords, yeah? Somebody has fallen out of your good graces. Five of Wands opens up the second row with lots of conflict in a love situation or at least a very important relationship in your life situation. This emperor right here, you're dealing with an emperor. Everybody has been dealing with an emperor. I mean, all signs have had some kind of emperor in their reading. Um, could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with just somebody that is a, a, you know, controlling, not controlling. The emperor represents the control, authority, structure, and establishment of your life, okay? And this broken heart with the what you thought was the Ten of Cups very well represents the authority, the control, the establishment, and the structure of your life. Or you could be dealing with an emperor-ish character if you're not dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio straight up. Sometimes Taurus too with the emperor. This emperor right here has done something or said something that has created this broken heart right here sent you into the hermit energy, right? Sent you into the hermit energy. 
And what you're doing in this hermit energy is that you are doing some soul searching, seeking some inner wisdom about what you thought was nine of cups. You thought it was wishes fulfilled, right? But the seven of cups says, I'm sorry, the seven of pentacles says, eh, not so much. Upon assessment and reflection, you know, you're thinking just about ending the whole damn thing and bringing a culmination to the situation and moving out as a self-sufficient, independent, single individual. Nine of Wands says you are hesitant, on edge, and defensive in this situation. Two of Pentacles says that, let me think about this real quick. Two of Pentacles says that there is an imbalance in the situation and you are having a hard time prioritizing any kind of hope or faith or purpose or renewal of a relationship with this person. You're having a hard time prioritizing it and you're having to be adaptable because I have a feeling that this just kind of kind of happened out of nowhere. I think you were on a track and then maybe kapow, you know? Yeah, but you're having a hard time with it and you're thinking about disconnecting. This king of wands right here, this is the emperor, right? This is the emperor. This king of wands right here. High Priestess tells me that, um, that there was some kind of secret revealed. Your subconscious mind, your intuition has let you in on something that was otherwise hidden, right? Now the truth is out, and that's what causes the Three of Swords, is, is this discovery that you've made right here about this, this King of Wands, this Emperor kind of guy, person, person, okay, here. This creates a tower moment, and this is upheaval and chaos. It's not, it, well, it's a revelation and an awakening too, but it's upheaval, chaos, right? In regards to reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past. This devil card right here. This devil card represents A, the pain from the Three of Swords, B, whatever it was that this King of Wands emperor person, um, whatever this is that you found out, right? Whatever this revelation was, is this devil card. It's some kind of toxicity, obviously, because it caused a lot of pain. Some kind of toxicity um, involved in this situation and it's kind of put a stop to any kind of reuniting or reconciling this devil card is clarified by the ace of cups which is your feels right this this toxic devil situation hit you right in the feels right in the feels and with the fool card this is about um This is about stepping off into a new beginning and a new journey all on your own, right? Hence the Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficient, independent, single person, right? So this whole situation has made you um, take a step back and, and realize that perhaps this new beginning and this new journey is not going to be with this person. This new beginning and this new journey is going to be um, on your own, right? Stepping away from the situation and leaving. Strength comes in, says that, number one, you are strong. You are strong. Number two, that you will need strength to do this because that devil card also indicates some kind of restrictive attachment, right? Some kind of something, something that you have for this king of wands, emperor type of person. Can be man or woman, doesn't matter, but they're taking on those energies, right? Queen of Cups, Pisces, High Priestess, also Pisces, by the way, um, the Queen of Cups. So this Queen of Cups right here represents Pisces. Pisces focusing on their personal security with the Queen of Pentacles. You may have some Taurus in your chart or some Earth in your chart. But this, this Queen of Cups right here is focusing on her feels. She's focusing on her feels. She's focusing on her personal security. And she is about to take some passionate action. She is about to... Um, to this is a sense of exuberance, right? 
to the two of swords, which represents um, a truce, a, st a stalemate, more of a stalemate than a truce. And I think what these cards are saying is that you're grateful, Pisces, that you saw with your intuition and your subconscious mind what this emperor, king of wands, was up to right? You're grateful that you recognize the devil energy and you're not super duper upset by it. Not super duper upset. You're upset. Don't get me wrong. With three of swords is, you know, that's upset. But nevertheless, you are um, seeing things clearly. There's no more confusion and it's just a stalemate or it's just, it just is what it is. Whatever this emperor, king of wands character did or said, that caused this whole upheaval in what you thought was a Ten of Cups relationship. You're glad that it happened when it happened, so you weren't kept in the dark any longer. And I do believe that is um, it's how you feel about the situation, Pisces. I do believe that is how you feel about the situation. I'm real curious here to see who it is that you're dealing with. Who you're dealing with has choices and options. Who else? What is Pisces dealing with right here, Spirit? What is Pisces dealing with right here? Who is this King of Wands, this Emperor? And what happened? Who is Pisces dealing with right here? Yeah, secrets with the High Priestess. Options. Third party situation, maybe? Let's see if there anything comes out along those lines. Spirit, what is Pisces dealing with right here? What is Pisces dealing with right here? empress and the fool that's funny they're telling me about you right they're telling me about you you found out some secrets and you are assuming the energy of the empress the empress does not take stupidity lightly she does not take stupidity lightly the empress shut up. the empress is all about um you come to me right correct and proper or you don't come to me at all and that is what pisces the high priestess that is what Pisces is saying. The Empress is like, I don't play. I don't play mind games. I don't play bullshit, right? The Empress is the culmination of all four queens in the deck. She's got her emotions in check. She's got her 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 security in check. She has her passion in check. And she has her mental in check. And the Empress don't play no stupid games of secrets and third-party situations or whatever this is for you. The Empress doesn't play, and she's out with the Fool card. She's out. She's gone. She's out. She's like, see ya. And she's packing what little bit she needs to take with her, and she's hitting the road because she don't play. The Empress does not play. Whoa, Nelly. What do we got here? What do we have here, spirit? The hangman. Hmm. Hanging out, thinking about some things, thinking about what kind of action that you want to take, what kind of inspired action you want to take in this situation. Wheel of Fortune comes in, says rolling on out, rolling on out, closing out a cycle, starting a new cycle, and temperance comes in. Patience, purpose, balance, and moderation. And I do believe this is purpose and balance in your life, Pisces. Wow. What? I mean, it's a good reading. I'm sorry that the Three of Swords happened to you. I truly am, but it is a good reading. And um, this is a good example of never, ever, ever, ever to ignore your intuition, right? We're all taught to think with our, cere our cerebral intellect. However, um, there's a whole nother um, realm that we need to use in our decision-making process, and that is your intuition. Intuition is your source guiding you down the path that you need to be on, and a lot of people ignore it, and you know, that's one of the things that, that is the, I think that that's the main comment that I get after a reading is, wow, that just confirmed my intuition. And I'm like, hell yeah, hell yeah, it confirmed your intuition. You have to listen to your intuition. Now, don't go around making decisions with your, with your feels all day, right? You have to combine your mind and your intuition into a, a unified source to seek decision-making processes from. But don't ignore your intuition, Pisces. And you didn't in this situation. And you found out something that you needed to know. And it put an 
an end to what you thought was a Ten of Cups relationship, though be it painful end, but nevertheless, it put an end to what you thought was a Ten of Cups relationship. And quite frankly, you are better off for it, Pisces. You are better off for it. All right, that is your reading. If you want one from me, deepthoughtswithdana.com, or you can click the link in the box below. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have not subscribed and you would like some more readings like this, click the little dingy bell so you know when I put stuff out and um, share it with anybody you think it may help and drop me a comment. I love to read the comments and I reply to every single one of them. It might take me a good long minute, but I do. I do. I read every one of them and I reply to them. Um, if I don't just heart them because, you know, I appreciate it, I will reply if there's like a direct question or something like that. And uh, as far as negative comments or like crazy, like batshit crazy kind of stuff, that's okay too because I just delete you. <laughs> it's no worries. It's no skin off of my, no skin off of my teeth. If you want to be crazy and leave all kinds of weird comments and stuff, that's no worries. They'll be up there for a minute and I'll delete them and we'll all just carry on knowing that you are cray cray. So anyway, Pisces, um, this was your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it and namaste my friends.